Antibody drug conjugates, or ADCs, are a kind of cancer treatment approved to treat a variety of cancers. ADCs were created as a way of delivering chemotherapy drugs directly into cancer cells, with the goal of minimizing damage to healthy cells. You can think of them as a kind of targeted chemotherapy. As their name suggests, each antibody drug conjugate is comprised of an antibody, a drug, and a linker that holds them together. Antibodies can precisely locate and bind to specific proteins found on the surface of cells. So the antibody component of an ADC is designed to precisely locate and bind to a specific protein found mainly on whatever type of cancer cell is being targeted. This antibody serves as a guided missile to deliver to the inside of the cancer cell tiny payloads in the form of a potent chemotherapy drug. Because the chemo is being delivered directly to the cancer cells, ADCs can use a very low dose of a more powerful type of chemotherapy than the kind of chemo that is delivered throughout the body. Finally, the linker is designed to help prevent the chemo from releasing until it reaches the target cells. ADCs are delivered through an IV. The antibody component of the ADC seeks out cancer cells by looking for the protein it was designed to identify. When the antibody binds to this protein, the cell responds by pulling the ADC inside the cell. Once inside the cancer cell, the linker breaks down. This releases the chemotherapy payload so it can destroy the cell. Now, within a tumor, there may be cancer cells that don't have the target protein. Some ADCs are able to destroy these cells too. That's because their chemo payload can seep out of the targeted cells to reach neighboring cells as well. This is called the bystander effect. There are more than a dozen ADCs approved for use in the U.S., with dozens more being studied. The goal is always to target cancer cells and minimize damage to healthy cells. So the selection of the target protein is key. Ideally, it is found only on the cancerous cells, because any other cells in the body that happen to have this protein will also be affected. The impact to these healthy cells is what causes some of the side effects associated with ADCs. In fact, the selection of the target protein, the three components that make up each ADC, and the bystander effect can all influence how effective an ADC is and what side effects it may cause. Possible side effects of ADCs include those typically associated with chemotherapy, like nausea and vomiting, hair loss, and reduced blood cell counts. Each ADC also has its own side effects. Most side effects are considered mild to moderate. There are other side effects, however, that can be quite serious, like interstitial lung disease, where the tissue between the lung's air sacs becomes inflamed or stiff, making it difficult to breathe normally. Because of this, patients receiving ADCs are closely monitored. As always, talk with your doctor to determine the best course of treatment for your particular cancer. A message from Cancer Care. Learn more at www.cancercare.org. Cancer Care provides free resource navigation, individual counseling, and support groups over the phone, virtually, and in person with oncology social workers and resource navigators who specialize in helping people affected by cancer. To talk with one of our social workers, call 1-800-813-HOPE. That's 1-800-813-4673. Our social workers can help you navigate the emotional, practical, and financial challenges of cancer. The content presented in this video is provided for your information only. It is not intended as a substitute for medical advice. We encourage you to take information and questions to your healthcare provider.